Meantime, it is time to ask the expert. First, we're told starchy carbs are good for us, then they were bad for us. So now there's a lot of buzz about a new kind of starch called resistant starch. Sound new to you? Me too. Lori Meyer, though, is our re resident registered Isn't a starch dietitian. Is starch a starch? I thought I didn't. <laughs> Well, not necessarily, okay. because resistant starch is just that. It's a starch that resists being digested. Most starches are going to get digested in the small intestine, and they turn into glucose, and then they feed all the cells. Okay. This particular starch does not get digested in the, in the small intestine, goes to the large intestine or the colon, where the colon bacteria actually start working on it, metabolize and digest it. It, and, and then it ends up um, actually being full, food or fuel for those intestinal bacteria. Ends up having a uh. lot of health benefits is what the researchers are finding. Yeah, so it's nothing new, are. but the health benefits are great. What we're finding, because we're feeding this good bacteria, we're keeping the intestine healthy, that seems to have a huge impact on, on our health. So by feeding the good bacteria, it's improving the intestinal health itself. And if anybody has intestinal problems or leaky gut, this might be something that you may want to look at or consider in the future. Besides that, we're finding that it can be great for, for diabetics and blood sugar control and uh, insulin sensitivity. It may also help to lower cholesterol levels. We're also finding that it can aid weight loss because it helps to improve satiety, makes you feel fuller longer and people who have been taking it are finding that they are losing weight and it because the gut and brain are so you know closely united it helps with sleep also new data might be helping with certain cancers so the list goes on and on of things that potentially could be beneficial for this starch okay this is where anchorman is supposed to ask you where, where? do we get resistant starch yes. and i noticed there is a green banana really green. that's the greenest I mean, one is, i could find uh, we're supposed to eat this yes how? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because if you notice, I have the banana that a lot of people right. yeah, might this eat. Yeah, this is my kind of banana the right here. The starch, there's, there's, there's carbohydrate or starch in both of these, but the starch is resistant in the green, and mm. the longer it ripens, now it no longer is going to have the resistant type starch, which bypasses digestion. Now, and so this is what you want. You want, the a green raw, banana. You want a raw potato, a green banana, or a green plantain. Okay. Or if, if you can't stomach, stomach that, you could use like a raw potato starch or a green banana banana starch and start adding those okay. to smoothies and that's what a lot of people are doing adding to smoothies or I, I made an ice cream at the end beside that there's another way that you can get this res resistant starch all grains and legumes are going to have it to some degree or, mm -hmm. or other rice white rice particularly has it but not when it's hot you have to cook it and then cool it the same with potatoes so eating a rice salad or a potato salad or a bean salad you're going to get more of this lentils tend to be have the most I have a lentil dip and then this is a green banana and strawberry ice cream you just whiz it together right. with some coconut milk. Lori, thanks for coming in and Resistance introducing starch. us to the green banana. <laughs> Got a question for any of our experts? Here's how you do it. Ask the expert at TMJ4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at that number right there on your screen. I'm going to eat a green banana now just to see what it's like.